He cared about all people. That's how colleagues and friends describe Douglas County Commissioner and former Omaha Mayor Mike Boyle. And Boyle passed away from pneumonia complications early this morning after being diagnosed with lung cancer last year. He's a familiar face in Nebraska politics, holding multiple public offices in the metro over the course of six decades. Tonight, those who knew Boyle are remembering his legacy. Those who knew Mike Boyle say his commitment to public service set him apart. A lot of it was aimed at how can we help the most people uh, the best way. Commissioner Jim Cavanaugh says he met Boyle when the young Democrat was helping with the Johnson Humphrey campaign in the 60s, later working with Boyle when he was Douglas County Election Commissioner and then as part of Boyle's mayoral campaign. And I remember how much we laughed. Uh, if there was one thing about Mike uh, that, if you knew him at all, was his sense of humor. Boyle was first elected mayor in 1981, then was recalled during a second term in 1987, following his firing of police chief Robert Wadman. P.J. Morgan actually beat Boyle when he tried for a third term, later working with him as a fellow county commissioner. Well, even though I'm a Republican and he was a Democrat, we had great respect for each other and work together totally. That ability to disagree on issues but also work collaboratively is something many of Boyle's colleagues say he excelled at. It's a civility uh, that uh, is sorely lacking in a lot of government today. County Commissioner Marianne Borgeson says despite differences of opinion, they grew close. Of recent, um, it almost became a father-daughter where he became very protective of me. County Commissioner Chris Rogers also credits Boyle with encouraging his political career, reflecting now on how to best honor that legacy. I think about the fact that he, I think, would have wanted this to be a, a joyous thing. He went out, I think, fighting the way that he wanted to fight, and so the best way to live up for him is to hold those things true that he believed in. Boyle was first appointed to the board back in the 90s. He won re-election several times, most recently in November 2020, serving this time alongside his daughter, Maureen, who got elected to the board that same year. And she won't have any problem carrying on that Boyle legacy, not at all. In many memories shared of Mike Boyle, his wife Ann's name is there too, a fellow staple in the Democratic Party. They were married 58 years when Ann passed away in 2019. Boyle leaves behind five children and 18 grandchildren. Some local and state leaders are offering their condolences to the Boyle family tonight. In a statement, Mayor Jean Stothert says, quote, we are grateful to him for a life of service to others. She also says she appreciated his counsel as a former Omaha mayor. Governor Pete Ricketts says Boyle's public service and his fair-mindedness will long be remembered by Nebraskans.